Hello and welcome to Office Concept TV where we give you the latest news, gist and gossips. To all our listeners and subscribers, we say thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And if you are just joining us, we say welcome to Office Concept TV. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification post to be the first person to get notification when we upload them. And now to the news of today, the headline. EFCC to arraign Buhari's minister for 33 billion naira money laundry. Now to the main news. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, is set to arraign former Minister of Power, Sally Maman, on Thursday, July 11, before Justice J.K. Omotosho on charges of alleged 33 billion naira money laundry. According to Channels TV, an ESCC insider disclosed that Maman faces a 12-count charge, including conspiracy to commit money laundering and possession and use of proceeds from criminal conduct. The charge documents signed by Prosecution Counsel Adeinka Olumide Fosika, SAN, and others reveals that counts 1 to 2 pertain to conspiracy to commit money laundering. Com- counts 3 to 4 involve money laundering through cash payments exceeding lawful limits. Count 5 addresses the purchase of landed properties with cash payments and count 6 to 12 focus on possession and use of proceeds from criminal activities. The investigation covers the period from 2019 to 2022, during which Maman served as a minister under former President Muhammad Buhari. On May 10, 2021, he was taken into custody and held at the headquarters of the Anti-Corruption Agency in Abuja. On September 1, 2021, Buhari dismissed Maman along with the then Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Sabo Nananu, Nanunu, as part of a cabinet reshuffle. Maman faced allegations of colludu with ministry staff responsible for the Zungeru and Mambela hydroelectric power project accounts to misappropriate around 22 billion naira. The investigation reviewed properties both in Nigeria and abroad allegedly connected to the suspects with millions of naira and dollars reportedly recovered. Meanwhile, a federal high court in Lagos has ordered a former Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disasters and Management and Social Development, Sadia Omar Farouk, to account for the payment of 729 billion naira to 24.3 million to poor Nigerians for six months. Umar Farouk was also ordered to provide the list and details of the beneficiaries who received the payment, the number of states covered, and the payments per state. The judgment was delivered in June by Honorable Justice Dendei Isaac Tikbeolu, following a Freedom of Information Suit numbered FAC slash L slash CS slash 853 slash 2021, brought about by the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project. Serap. The amount of money laundering that has gone on in this administration and Buhari's administration, the way people steal money without conscience. And you know that when you steal this money, at, at the end of the day, you get caught. Those are people who have gone away, have gone away with the money, but there's karma we say for them in front. But some people, why can you steal 33 billion naira? Only you. For what? Eh? And people are suffering in the country. They will say there's no money, this and that. You cannot pay government workers, so, so salary. But there are people under you that are laundering huge amounts of money every time. Ah, God. It is well with us in this country. The way people launder money and steal money. I mean, there's enough money to go around for everybody in this country. And yet, some people want to have it all to themselves alone. Is that not greediness? Greediness at its peak. You've laundered money, you have a house, you have a car, you have money, you have billions of naira abroad for only you and your family. What is it? What is it? Why are these people like this? Why are they so unconscious? Why do they not have conscience for anything, for God, for anybody? It is good that 
they are caught and they'll keep catching everyone that wants to keep laundering money in this country my listeners what do you think kindly leave your comments in the comment section and do not forget to like to share and to subscribe to our youtube channel 